We're back. We are back. We're back. Yo, we've been waiting for this moment <laughs> all week Yes, ma'am. You got Crown, the Storm against North Central. North Central mad. They're 0-2 on Crown on the season. They lost a heartbreaker here at Crown by um, Jacob Van Dam, a little, little floater shot. Then they got Ooh. beat at home. They want redemption. Crown coming off a storming win against Morris. It's great. It's great. I am one of your commentators, Ugo. I'm joined by the lovely and wonderful Scotty Motes. Let's get it on. Let's go. North Central wins the tip. And we have Castro setting up the offense for North Central. Tyler kicking it outside. Right now, they're calling their plays out, looking where to go, hoping to find the open lane. Castro really pushing the ball down low. He'll go up with it. Shot does not fall, but it's rebounded by Thompson. I believe Thomas took the shot. That shot was no good. Crown will pick up the foul, which will be on number four, I believe, Holtman. Crown starting lineup not hasn't changed since the middle of the season. Cade Carroll now with the ball over to Ladd. He'll go inside for a little floater, and he'll miss that. Quick rebound by Thompson. Castro pushing the ball up. Castro again driving down low. He'll take the shot. Again, it does not fall. Rebounded by Royston, his second on the night already. Crown now restarting their offense. Down low to Royston. He looks to go to work down low. He'll go up. That's no good. And ball will go to North Central. Both teams have been taking pretty good shots. I would say Just so. Nothing They've been is able falling to, right now. To get down low into the paint, getting some high percentage shots. Thompson with the ball over to Castro. Castro again going on the drive. Swinging it outside. He'll get tipped away by Crown. That, that was good recovery by Ladd. Understanding that the ball might go to the corner. Good closeout. Yeah. 
Filer now with the ball. Down to four seconds on the shot clock. He's going to have to go up with it here. That ball will get tipped away. And we're going to have a shot clock violation. Good defense on Crown's part. I can barely, it's loud in here, Scotty. I can barely hear you if I'm going to be honest. The energy in here is masking the energy we had on senior night. Van Dam with the ball inside to Royston. He'll go up. And that's no good. Herbert oh. fighting for a call there. I don't think he's going to get it. Again, as was, as is typical with our refs, usually few calls in the first half, which pick up by the second half. So this is this is what we would expect. Kate Carroll, little fake. He'll go up, and that's no good. Thompson with that rebound. Feidler now bringing the ball up the court. Feidler going to take it on a drive here. He'll go up with it. Tries to bank it off. That's no good. Right now, Crown, right now, if you look at it, Seth Royston has a mismatch down low. Jacob Van Dam takes a three, and that's good. Way to get the game started from Jacob Van Dam for three. You guys, it's been almost a three-minute no scoring streak. Three minutes finally broken by Jacob Van Dam. Filer now on this drive. He looks to pull up, and that shot is good. Apparently, when I say they broke the streak, <laughs> it, it works for both sides. Lad starting the offense. Over to Carroll. Crown passing the ball pretty efficiently right now. Van Dam picks it up. He'll shoot a fadeaway. That's no good. Holman with the rebound, passing it over to Filer. Filer looking to set up their offense. Tyler taking a step back, doesn't go up for the shot. Passes over to Holtman, now to Castro. Trying to get it inside. Back outside to Holtman. That shot does not fall. Rebounded by Carroll. Carroll, leading rebounder on the team. I believe he's second leading rebounder in the UMAC. Van Dam now looking for some space. He'll go with an up and under move, and that's no good. Almost got his rebound. To Castro really pushing the ball down. He goes coast to coast on the layup. North Central now takes the lead. The score is 4-3. A lot of miscommunication, I believe, on the offensive side right now as Newbert's going to check in. He'll check in for Royston. Looks like it's going to be a highly defensive matchup right now for both teams. We have a screen there by Sun. Back over to him. Out to Filer. Definitely, both teams are playing strong defense. And looking to make shots, but in some ways struggling a little bit here. Shot was up and no good. Rebound by Testerman. Over to Van Dam. Over to Ladd, Crown looking now to move the ball like they usually do. Carroll now bullying down low. That's no good. He'll go and get his rebound, and he'll go up and get fouled. Both teams really pushing the ball into the lane quite strongly. Yeah, yeah I would say so. <laughs> there, I would say that if, if either team is looking for a push, it's, it's the same moves happening on both ends of the court. Gabe Carroll at the line. Hits his first. And misses the second. Score remember 4-4. Four, four. Fuqua going off the screen, kicking it back over to Sun. Filer now looking to drive down. He'll swing it across court to Castro, who goes out for the shot. That shot does not fall. Rebounded by Testerman. He's looking now to push the offense. Receives the screen from Newbert. Out to Ladd. Over to Carroll. 
He's looking for some space. Inside to Newber, and he'll go up for the easy finish. Now that's what we like to that, that's, see. That's crown basketball right there. That's crown basketball. All right, Filer looking to drive. He'll pull, step back. Son fakes and goes up with it a second time, making the shot. Almost the same play on both sides of the court. Same score, I same agree. plays. Very evenly matched game right now. Carroll for a deep three. That's in and out. We'll have Fuqua on that rebound. He'll bring the ball up the court. Goes off of the screen by Sun. And we're going to get a foul call. I believe the foul is on Newbert, his first, team's first. In for the storm, number 21, Seth Royston, and number 12, Carter Bainey. Tyler now looking for the open lane with a little bit of a spin move. The shot does not fall, but Sun gets the tip back. Lad now commanding the offense over to Bainey. Inside to Carroll. He's looking to for an up and under move, and that's good. Cade Carroll. Sun now with the ball looking to pass into the corner to Bukers. Bukers goes through the lane and up with it. That shot does not fall. Rebounded by Royston. Well, that's his third rebound already in the game. Over to Carroll. Over to Van Dam. He'll shoot a spot up three, and that's good. Van Dam, a player who can hit spot up threes like it's nothing. That is his best shot. When he moves, gets a little bit set, and takes the shot. Filer now with his shot from the corner. That shot will not fall. Maybe Re looking for a foul on that call. Rebounded by Carroll. Crown now looking to start their offense. Over to Carroll. He'll take the deep three. Right between your eyes. Boom. Two e right between the eyes. Right between the eyes. To be very honest, I was not expecting back-to-back -back threes as our offensive choice. <laughs> but we feel, love when it. When you're feeling it, you're feeling it. It is loud in here. It is loud in here. I hope y'all can hear that. And Van Dam with the steal. Van Dam goes up for the layup, and that's good. 16 to 8. You got your two leading scorers. They're going off a little bit right now. It's loud right now. Playoff atmosphere. <laughs> Scotty, I, 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 I'm scared for North Central right now because... This is this is the momentum that Crown has, a full timeout right now for North Central. I really do think that there is something to be said about the home court advantage. Our crowd is loud, like I've never heard them before. It's booming in here. It's booming. All right, we have Castro back in the game, bringing the ball up for North Central. Looking to set up their offense. Getting it over to Thompson. Thompson will take the drive, and he will pick up a charge call. I, I, 
would say this is what we expected, though. We had we had a good nine minutes where there were very few <laughs> foul calls, and now when the people start to push and exactly. shove, we're picking up the foul calls. Lad now over, starting the offense. In for the in for the storm, number ten, Jacob Masick. As Carter Bainey goes up, that's no good. We have Thomas with that rebound, giving it over to Castro, who will push the ball up and go in for the layup. It doesn't fall, but Thompson tips the ball back in. Van Dam down low, looking to go up and under. That's no good. North Central really pushing the ball up the court, getting it over to Filer. He'll take the three, and that three is good. Miscommunication on the defensive end for Crown leads to a wide open three for North Central. Game's now cut down to three. North Central really took advantage of that timeout. Now getting a steal by Filer, managing to hang on to the ball, looking to drive it down into the lane and go up with a shot, and that shot is good. It is now 15-16. North Central had a two, a two, and a three, looking very similar to the little bit of a run that Crown went on. Van Dam now with the ball. Receives a screen from Royston. Inside to Royston. And he'll get fouled on the catch. That foul will be on number 15, Filer, his first, team's fourth. In for the storm now, number 14, Cade Carroll. Brown moving the ball on offense. Micah, Micah and the lad knowing that he has to go in with the low time on the shot clock goes up and that's no good. Thompson on that rebound. He'll also be bringing the ball up the court over to Fuqua. Filer now on a drive looking for the open man. Tom, getting it to Thompson. A little bit of a spin move there. Might have been blocked or tipped away. Royston now on top of the key. Over to Bainey. Over to Ladd. Over to Masick. Out to Ladd for three. He'll shoot it. And that's good. Michael Ladd, a not high prolific three-point shooter. He doesn't do it a lot, but when he hits him, it gets in a groove like he did against Morris. He's lethal. Hey, we got to take the momentum back. Keep the momentum in your favor is the name of the game. Royston with the block on that one. Ball will go out to Castro. He'll shoot the three. That will not fall, but we're going to get a foul on the play. I believe the foul is going to be on 11, Micah Ladd. His first, team second. In for the storm now, number 20, Alec Testerman. While there's a break in the action, I would just like to shout out Alec Testament's family. This we is a little, this is a special little, this is a special little shout out to Alec Testament's family, but particularly his mother. His mother, we you love have you so much. A great kid. Yes, everyone loves Alec. We love Alec. We know that you love Alec. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ball to Thomas. It down low to Holtman. He'll try and save it. We have a foul. blocked by Testerman. Then I believe the foul will be on 21 Royston, his first. And right as that happens, he gets subbed in for Cade Newbert. A little bit unfortunate to pick up the foul because I believe it would have been our ball I otherwise. So as well. Getting it into Filer. He's looking to set up their offense. Getting it inside to Buchert, who will get it over to Thomas. Shot was blocked by Masick. North Central manages to get the ball back. Filer goes in for the layup. Pretty wide open lane there. Gets the layup. That's good. Kate Carroll with the spot up three. That goes in and out.
Our Central getting the ball in the corner. I believe Buker's going on the drive. Filer now looking for the open lane. He'll pull up for a shot. Shot doesn't fall. Rebounded by Carroll. Over to Testerman, who's looking to push the offense. Inside to Carroll. Crown moving the ball right now. Inside to Newbert. He's looking to get big. He'll pull pass it to Bainey. Over to Carroll. Inside to Testerman. Outside to Newbert for three. That's no good. Castro now pushing the ball up for North Central. Filer going to go on the drive here. Looks to spin. Kicks it back out to Holtman. Inside to Thomas. Thomas looking to go up for the shot. That shot is good. The score is now 19-19. It's a tie game. And we're going to get a timeout by Crown College. Timeout by the Storm. So, Scotty, you, you, you go on a run, they come back. You go on a run, they come back. What do you think the Storm need to do to, to kind of break away that, 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 co- that comeback factor right now from it, North Central? Currently, it's really hard to tell because both teams are almost doing the same moves on each other. So, I guess you've got to play defense like you would guard yourself. At this point, I think this is what we'd expect, though. This is the semifinals of playoffs. We would expect this to be a competitive game from yep. start to end. I agree. Now in for the storm, number 31, Jacob Van Dam. And in for the storm, number 11, Michael Ladd. Ball getting stolen by Bukers. Fuqua now bringing the ball up for North Central Rams. He's looking to kick it outside to Sun. Sun will take the shot. Shot's not good, but Fuqua manages to tip the ball back up and in. A lot of second chance points right now coming from North Central on those tip-ins. That's the kind of rebounding we need. Ladd goes in. Over to Van Dam. Over to Newbert. Kate Carroll will go up for the shot and he'll get fouled. Right there, the crown offense looking a lot, really discombobulated, not enough space, not enough passing. We've, we've got to start playing our game on the offense, All meaning right. move the ball, find a nice open shot, create space, all of the fundamentals. Carroll shoots the first and and that's good. In for the storm now, number 21, Seth Royston. And Carroll will make them both. It's now a tie game, 21-21. Five, uh, Bukers now with the ball into, I believe, Sun. Sun looking to go on the drive on the baseline, getting stuck on the baseline. Royston doing a nice job on defense. Holtman now looking to spin move, maybe go up. Sun taking the shot. That shot for three is good. Glad now with the ball over to Testerman. Outside to Michael. Inside to Royston. Ladd for three again. And that's good. Michael Ladd, see, two for two. That's what we like to see. Go inside, exactly. take it back out. You draw the defense to being off of their person. It's an in and out game for Crown, and they're doing, they're, they're playing it the best they can right now. All right, Fuqua with the ball, looking to set up the offense, trying to get it into Sun. Sun now looking to spin and go up with it. That's great defense there by Michael Ladd. Straight up defense. Both both teams are playing very tight, very aggressive. Royston with the blow by. 
and he'll get blocked. But I believe a technical foul is going to be called on number 30 of North Central. That will be on Caden Sund. It will be his first. Team I six, believe. I believe. Team six. I believe so. Unless it doesn't count. I believe it counts towards team, doesn't it? The board is updating a little bit slow for my liking, but that is not in our control up here. Carroll now at the line. And he'll hit the first. Ugo, you are correct. That was 30, his first, team six. He'll hit both. Crown will also retain possession, I believe. They should with the technical. Oh, Crown will not retain possession. Oh. We Never were, mind. We were wrong, wrong on, that. on that. We were definitely wrong on that. We have, known to, we have been known to be wrong a few times. Hey, hey, it's okay. Sometimes we're with human. our word choices. We're human. Sometimes with our player call outs. <laughs> <laughs> that will be Fuqua with the two points now tying the game again 26 26. Lad right now over to Van Dam. Outside to Royston. He'll take the spot up three. That's no good. But a foul will be on number 20, Alec Testerman. His first. Team's fourth. Fuqua now bringing the ball up for North Central. Trying to get it inside to Thomas. Back out to Filer. Filer getting a little bit stuck, but quickly getting it over to Fuqua for the long three. That shot is no good. It will go over to Crown. Crown crowd letting that kid hear it. As Ladd now brings the ball up. Carroll now. He'll take the ball and he'll attack. And that's no good. Thompson with that rebound, trying to get it over to Filer. A little bit wide, so that ball will go out of bounds and back over to Crown. Scotty, 319 left, 26 26. It's, it's a close game. I, I feel like both teams are getting a little bit upset by the foul call, so they're really leaning into each other on drives. Hands on bodies on defense. This is going to be an aggressive matchup. Carroll takes the pull up three, and that'll be short. I think if we matched up play for play, they're going one for one. It really is. On very similar plays, very similar outcomes on both ends of this court. I'd agree. I would agree. All right, we have now Filer with the ball over to Holtman. Filer now with the long shot. That shot is good. Ladd now over to Testerman. He'll bring it out to restart the offense. Michael Ladd now for three. He'll bank that in. Michael Ladd, three for three. I, I wish I had said it before he actually made it, but I was like, well, now I'd expect Crown to make a three. <laughs> Crown playing good defense, swinging it over to Thomas. Looking outside to Thompson, back into Thomas. Thomas getting it clear, waiting to go for the shot. Shot will drop, and he'll draw the foul. Cameron Thomas will go to the line for the extra point. In for the storm now, number 30, Drew Burnett, as Seth Royston picks up his second. I think he'll probably sit for the rest of this half. Shot is good. North Central now leads three points with two minutes left in this half.
Testerman now at the ball. Over to Ladd. Out to Carroll. He'll shoot the spot up three. And that's good. Of course. Of point course. Because we've got to match them. <laughs> Back and forth. Filer will go up with that shot. It does not fall. Crown with the rebound. Testerman looking to go inside. Popped out to Ladd. Ladd now with the ball. Inside to Carroll. He looks to go down low. And he'll go up, and that's no good. Rebounded, though, by Testerman. All right, we have the ball being brought up by Castro for the Rams. We have 58 seconds left on the clock. This is a very close game. Screen by Thompson. He goes in for the drive. Ball gets stripped away. Ball was stripped there, I believe, by Ladd. Testerman now over to, over to Carroll. Over to Van Dam. He'll take... He'll take a fade away, and he'll get fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. That foul will be on Tanner Holtman, his second, team seventh. Damn, shoots the first. That's good. Why is everyone acting like it was a one-on-one -on -one foul? I believe it was a shooting foul before it was a one-on-one. -on -one. It, it was a shooting foul, I think, just because they saw that it was one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> this time, you actually got two shots regardless. <laughs> Welcome back to the box. And, and both damn, shots both. are good. <laughs> Crown is now up to... 30 seconds left in this half. Maybe North Central looking to take that last shot. Castro with the ball, looking to set up their offense. Thompson now over to Castro. Castro back to Thompson. He'll get the basket tied up at 34-34. Lad now, five seconds left on the, on the clock. Inside the Testerman, and he'll hit the floater and good. That's a big shot for Crown going that is into a the half. Big. You're up two. It's not a big lead, but you're up two. You're up, and that's a very big thing right Crown now. Crown needs to carry this momentum Indeed. into the locker room and back out onto the court for the second half. Yes, I can only imagine if you are the Testerman family and you're watching, <laughs> you're going wild right now. Because we definitely were. And we're back, second boom, boom. half. Crown looking to start their offense. Cade Carroll throws it out of bounds. Maybe not the start we were looking for, Correct. but the start we got. All right, Castro now with the ball looking to set up the North Central offense. Looks like he's bobbling it. That will be a jump ball. It'll North Central will keep it. North Central's possession. If you were here last night, I would have said that that was a little bit of a tussle on the floor. We have Castro now with the ball up top, going in for the layup. He goes up. Shot's not good, but Thompson will have the put back. That shot Rebounded by Royston. Van 
Van Dam gets the ball oh, stolen. And we have a steal here by Thomas. Thomas goes up for the layup and he'll draw the foul. shot does not fall Thomas will get one more at the line second shot is good Lad bringing the ball up starting the offense over to Van Dam over to Carroll as he looks to attack on the offensive end. And he goes inside, and that's, that's a good basket. That's the kind of control we like to see. Castro now taking the drive, passing it back out, getting it over to Thomas. Thomas goes up for the shot. Doesn't fall. Over to Carroll. Bad pass from Carroll to Ladd. Good possessions are really important in this game. Castro now swinging it outside to Thomas. Thomas will take the shot. Does it fall? Thompson attempting to get the rebound, and he's going to get a foul called on that. That will be his second, team's first. Lad now. Starting the offense. Over to Royston. Crown moving the ball very efficiently on the offensive end. Looking to go down low to Royston. Over to Van Dam. And Michael Ladd will go up. But a tip in from Royston saves that possession. Royston did a really nice job of clearing space to make that lane open. Castro now on the drive. Pushing off just a little bit. Doesn't make the shot, but Thompson gets the put back. Thompson has done that on multiple occasions now. We've got to be careful to make sure that we get the rebound. Testerman now with the drive. Over to Ladd. He looks to go back door, and that's good. I believe a 30-second timeout called it has by been Crown. A little bit of a minute since we've had a five-point lead. I agree. Crown appears to be changing up some some of their offensive structure to get some of those shots off. Castro now bringing the ball up for North Central. For those of you watching, the score is 37-42 in favor of the Crown College Storm. Filer now going on the drive. Getting a little bit stuck down low, looking to go up with the shot, and he'll make it for two. Score is now 39-42 with 16.50 left in this game. Michael Ladd for three. That's no good. Filer now bringing the ball to the court. That rebound was by Holtman. Filer again looking to go on the drive. Swings it outside. It's up to Castro. He'll go on the drive. Looking to pass it over to Thompson. His reverse lift is good. They have now closed the gap. 
It's now one back to game. a one-point game. Exactly what we'd expect in this half. Van Dam with the fadeaway. That's no good. Crown having to hustle to get back on defense. Filer going up with the shot. Good control on that one, and that shot will fall. North Central now taking the lead. Van Dam now shoots the pull up. That's no good. All right, we have Castro handing it over to Filer. Filer closely guarded by Testerman. Finding the lane, he'll go up for two. Again, that shot is good. He now has 18 points this game. Lad now over to Van Dam, who goes inside to Royston. He looks to get big, and he'll go up, and he'll get fouled. I believe that foul will be on number 20, Jonathan Thompson. That is his third, team second. Royston hits the first. He hit them both as Cade Newbert will be subbed in. All right, Castro over to Filer. Filer is definitely the person to stop. He pulls up for two. Shot is good. That gives him 20 points now. Masik now drives in, a little fade away, and that's good. Full timeout now to be called by Crown. Okay, Scotty, 46-47. You're down one, home, big atmosphere game. What do you think Herbert's saying right now in the huddle? I, I think, I don't know what Herbert is saying. I, I'm fairly sure, actually, that I don't think that I know that. But what I would say is that Crown needs to go back to playing in and out basketball. Get it down low, draw two players in, toss it back out where we can get a nice standalone three. That's our game. Look at Scott. Stick to it. Look at Scott. You would think she's a coach. Man, I dressed like one today. <laughs> just for this occasion. <laughs> but y'all wouldn't know that. While we have this break in the action again. You have we would just like to uh, give two shout outs. Uh, first shout out would be to the Van Dam family. They are watching right now in Edgerton, walk, watching Jacob and supporting Jacob from Edgerton. And the second one, Mutter and Fodder Motes. I just want to say I love you both. We love you both. And we are very happy that you are tuning in from wherever you may be to watch us right now and listen to, to us speaking. All right, Filer with the ball. Trying to find the open shot, getting a little bit stuck in the lane, but getting him back out to Castro. Castro looking to go on the drive, losing the ball. We're going to have a jump ball. That should go to Crown. 
if you've been paying attention. That, that, that's a great defensive possession right there from Crown, especially off of the timeout. Get yourself a jump ball and, and get get the ball back. Here's the thing. That's what we needed to do, though. We need to take the lead. I hope this is our time. In and out basketball, folks. She I predicts it. She predicts it. She she predicts it. Y'all caught that, right? In and out basketball? Got this? Okay. <laughs> 47-49 with 13.30 left on the clock. Filer in the lane. Does not make that basket, but does pick up the foul. So he'll go to the line to shoot two. First shot is no good. He'll take his second. Second shot is good, even under the pressure of a very loud crowd. Too loud. But it's never too loud. Lad now with the ball. Over to Bainey. Out to Masik. He looks to drive in. Over to Lad. Over to Newbert. He'll get big. Over to Masik. He'll go up. And that's no good. All right, Filer on the drive. Now is not the time to let him shoot because that shot is good. 23 points. He's clearly the person to stop on the other end. Carroll goes up and he misses that. Tyler again has the ball. Please don't let him drive. We're going to have a foul call. Now in for the storm, number 21, Seth Royston. Number 31, Jacob Van Dam. Ball is in to Thomas. Thomas in the lane looking to spin. Heavily guarded by two people. Out to Sun. Fuqua trying to get it across court. Ball is stolen by Royston. Out to Masik for three. And that's banked in. Yeah, that's two banks tonight. The bank is open on a Friday. Wide. <laughs> it's open on a Friday. Filer with the ball, closely guarded out to Sund. Back up top to Castro. He's going to drive the lane, goes up for two. Those points are good. Again, tie game, 52-52, just under 12 minutes left on the clock. Masik now with the ball. Royston looks to try to set up down low. Over to Ladd. He'll drive in. No help inside, and he'll hit that. Filer with the ball, looking again to drive, hoping to pick it up. We're going to have a foul, I believe, on the play. That foul will go to number 12. <laughs> Carter Bainey, his first, team's fourth. Sheesh. All right, North Central looking to restart their offense right here. Fuqua on a drive, hands it over <laughs> to Bukers. Carter Bainey putting his body on the line. There's no with foul the block ball. right there. Both people went flying. Both people Van went Dam up. Van Dam now pulling up down. the three. That's no good. Rebounded by Royston. He'll go up, and that's good. <laughs> Playing big boy basketball. Big boy basketball. All right, over to Fuqua. He'll take the three. That shot's no good. Rebound is missed by Crown. Castro now with the ball. (laughs) 
Now we're going to have a timeout for North Central. You guys, the the crowd energy. The energy. Energy. This is crazy in here. It is a fun night to be in the Wild Athletic Center. Say it again, Scotty. I won't, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, North Central inbound the ball, looking to shift the momentum towards them. Buker's looking to set up the offense here, getting the ball to Castro. He'll reset the offense, taking a step back three. The shot does not fall. North Central pulls down the rebound. Filer goes up with the shot. That foul will be on number 11, Conrad Bukers. Masik there with the scoop layup. He misses but gets his own rebound. Testerman now driving in. Over back to Masik. He passes it down low to Seth, who goes up and gets blocked. Thomas with the rebound on that one. Really hard fought down low. Filer now with the ball. He's sliding a little bit, getting it over to Thomas up top. Castro now on the drive, looking maybe to spin it back down. His shot does not fall. Ball rebounded by Masik. With now under 10 minutes, the score is 52-56. Masik now gets the ball for three. That's no good. Thomas with the rebound. Fuqua now pushing the ball up the court. Goes off the screen there by Thompson. He'll look to drive low. Pump fakes goes up. Layup is good. 54-56. It's still a two-point game. Ladd now with the ball. Over to Van Dam. Out to Masik. Brown looking to slow down the pace of the game. Ladd with a blow by, and that's good. Castro pushing the ball. Filer now with it. His shot goes up. It does not fall. I think that's the first time in a while that Filer has not made the shot that he's taken. Testerman now over to Masik. He looks to drive in. Don't know why he stopped before he took the shot, but it'll be Crown's ball. That's, in for the storm. That's the time when you go up, you really got to lean into the person, not stop, and not fade away. In for the storm, number 14, Cade Carroll, number 30, Drew Burnett. 
Apparently, Crown Men did not train with Scott Motes, who liked to drop his shoulder on the drive. Mm, Rebound uh, by number four, Holtman. Filer now with the ball, looking to set up the offense, maybe create some space for the drive. He'll go up, spin and go up, Filer. The shot is good. 25 points now. Burnett now with the ball over to Van Dam. He looked the spot up for three. Over to Testerman. He'll drive in. Looks to go up. He'll fade. And that's no good. Oh, rebounded by Burnett. Van Dam, Van Dam for three. This is, this is what we like to see from Burnett, though. Good offensive boards. And I believe... I'm not sure what happened out He long. will get the, oh, fouled. He a got foul. fouled. A foul on number four, Holtman, his third, team's fourth. Burnett goes up. That's no good. Filer looking to pass it maybe to Holtman, but found Castro. Castro now setting up the North Central offense. Looks to drive it in. He'll pass it back outside. Ball quickly moving around, leaving Filer the lane. Ball's Clock blocked is blocked, gets Carroll. his own rebound. I believe foul's on the ground. Looks like we might have a foul on this play. Yep. The foul will be on the floor. Fouls on number 11, Micah Ladd. His second, team's fifth. Ball goes in, back to Castro. Getting the ball to Filer. A central being patient on the offense. Kiki, a back out. Filer goes up for the shot. He makes it. Lad now with the ball over to Testerman. Inside the Testerman. Back out to Lad for three. And that's no good. Rebounded by Testerman. And they'll call a jump ball. And that will go to North Central. Y'all, it's getting feisty out here with a score of 58-58 and under six minutes left. Both teams want this win. We have a sub for North Central. That will be Caden Sun, number 30. And I believe number 20, Thompson, is back in the game. Balls over to Filer. Don't give him the lane. He's got. Passes it over to Castro. Castro goes out for the shot. His three is good. That now puts North Central at a three point lead. Van Dam will draw the foul there. That foul will be on number two, Castro. Testament now. <clears throat> Lad over to Carroll. Carroll will go up. That's no good. All right, Castro with the ball, slowing it down. Looking to keep the momentum right now. Crown really needing a stop on this play in order to shift the momentum back. Castro now setting up the offense, getting the ball back quickly, driving the lane. He'll go up with it. That shot is good. 
North Central taking the lead late in the game. Carroll now shoots the step back three, and that's good. It's now a two-point game, 61-63, 4.25 left, Ooh, Scotty. My hands are getting sweaty, folks. <laughs> That's the real honest truth. We are excited. We are hoping for the win. That three was crucial. Yeah, That's crucial. how you change the momentum. All right, Castro back with the ball, bringing it up for North Central. Really looking to keep the ball in their possession, giving it over to Filer. He'll go on a drive. That's a dangerous place for Crown to be with a step back three. Rebounded by Masik. This is now Crown's opportunity to either tie it up or take the lead. Van Dam fade away. Off the glass, and that's good. 63-63. Castro on the drive, kicking it back out, getting it over to Sun. Sun now looking to kick it back out to Filer. Setting up their office. Filer trying to find the lane to drive. Maybe setting a screen here for Castro. Castro on the drive with six left on the shot clock. He will draw the foul. Foul's gonna be on 31 Van Dam, his first team sixth. Castro will go to the line, shooting two. Shot is good. That puts up one more point for North Central there, 64-63. Shot is no good. Crown gets the rebound. Lad now. Masik now inside. Out over to Lad. He goes up and he'll get fouled and he'll go to the line. will go on number 11 Conrad Bukers Michael Ladd during the, during the regular season a 57% free throw shooter she misses the first he should make this one to keep it on pace with matching North Central play for play you need to stop. You need to stop. <laughs> As expected, the game is tied. A little less than three minutes left in this game. Castro now with the ball. 
Over to Filer. He's looking for the lane. Getting a screen by Thomas. Castro now on a quick and fast drive. Back out to Thomas for the shot. Shot's no good. Rebounded by Van Dam. All right, this is a big moment for Crown. Masik now has an empty paint, and he'll get fouled. That foul will be on number 15, Micah Filer. And he'll miss the first. Masik on the season, a 46% free throw shooter for Crown. He'll miss them both. Castro bring the ball up for North Central, and he will pause for a timeout. Whew. Scotty, 64-64, 2 12 left. Yo, is this going to come down to another fadeaway by Van Dam? Oh, I don't so know because I don't know if my heart can handle that. <laughs> I'm hoping for a four point win if I had a prediction. I don't know that I will get it accurate tonight as they are trading shots one for one on both ends of the court. All right, Cast Castro over to Bukers, back to Castro. Looking to set up the play, probably drive the lane here. Pause, go up for it. That shot is good. North Central up now, two points. Little under two minutes on the clock. Masik now with the ball, over to Van Dam. Inside to Carroll. He'll do a scoop layup, and that's good. My heart, my, my blood pressure is rising. Getting it back outside now. To Sun, back to Castro. Over to Filer. He'll take the three. Again. Rebounded by Van Dam. If we're going to have a miss... By Micah Filer, that's the miss we needed. But we better capitalize on it. Over to Masik, out to Carroll. Over to Ladd. He receives the screen from Seth. He'll shoot the three and that's good! What a three there by Micah Ladd. And, and there's a timeout. Time there's a timeout there by North Central. Michael Ladd, a kid on the, in the season, hasn't shot great from downtown, but when he shot those threes and they've gone in, he's been lights out, and he's lights out tonight. Kid only has 19 points. I just want to say, are y'all listening to me? It's it's loud. Are you listening to me? Because <laughs> I am calling this game from up top tonight.
it's loud here in the crowd in the crown faithful it's loud a defensive stop right here helps big time a defensive stop right here helps. huge huge do I can't not even, let Scotty if do, you're talking I can't even hear you it's too loud in here do not let Filer get the ball right now Castro has it he's going down potentially for the shot looking to swing it around that shot is good. He will go to the line for the extra point. Jeez. And you know what? That was really good defense. There was nothing you could do there. Everyone on the crown faithful is asking for a three seconds in the lane. All right, Castro is shooting one. With 30 seconds left on the clock, Crown has the ball. Ugo is stunned into silence for the first time in his life ever. No, don't even. All right, we're going to have a foul call here. That foul will go to number 12. They're in the bonus. We're in the bonus, and we love the bonus <laughs> up here. What happens when you foul Ugo in bonus? You go to the line. You go to the line. Cade Carroll hits the first. Cade Carroll again, an 86% free throw shooter. And he makes them both. That's the person you wanted to put on the line. Your, your, your nominee for the UMAC player of the year goes down and hits two clutch Tyler free with throws. The ball. Castro now. We have a timeout call. North Central really needs to have a good play, a good 16.3, shot, point three, shot Scotty. selection. 16.3, no shot clock. Both teams are in the bonus. What happens when you foul? You go to the line. This is anyone's game, but we are down to the last 16.3 seconds. Actually, keep, keep it on. Keep it on. I, I would just like to say this. This... If, if Crown goes on to win this game and Northwestern goes on to win, this will be the last broadcast between me and Scotty here on the Storm stream. And I just have a special message for Scotty, my friend, my, my confidant through this whole thing. We did a whole COVID year together. We had some laughs. We had some tears. But we had overall a great fun. There's no one else that I would have done this stream with, and I thank the Lord every day for her. I don't know where the Lord's going to put her. I don't know where the Lord's going to lead her, but it's going to be a place, and I know she's she's going she's going to flourish. She's going to do great things. Oh, dang. But I just want to thank you, thank you all, Crown Faithful, for for being with us through these games. Because right now it's loud in here. 16.3 seconds. 16.3. This could potentially be the Woo. last shot of the game. I am at least hoping it is the last shot of the game, as in maybe it doesn't fall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, North Central setting up their play, trying to get in this ball, getting it over to Filer. He goes up for the shot. Rebound by Thomas. Huge rebound, getting it outside. Back over to Fuqua. Getting it back to Filer. He's the person who can't have the ball in his hands. Van Dam with the rebound. Yo, that's it. That was crazy. Van Dam gets fouled and he'll go to the line. But the, like Scotty said, that, that could be it. Legally I, in the game of basketball, you cannot put a shot up. I think .5 seconds. So my coach would always say one second per action. There is no way that you can get a shot off and with the, point four. With point four, Van Dam doesn't even need to make either one of these. He can miss them for all we know. But you guys, this is it. This is it. I I believe well, we're gonna let Van Dam, and then I'll tell you what I believe. Oh. 
He hits the first. That leads, that pushes now the game to a two possession game. Crown can feel it now. (laughs) Because they're going to go to a championship right now. Yo, it's packed in here. Van Dam didn't even need to hit it. But that's game. That, that is game for the first time in maybe a long time. A long time. Crown College men's basketball will be in the finals for the UMAC playoffs. Yes, Can ma'am. Can you hear me? Because the crowd <laughs> is deafening. We are excited. We hope to see you all there on Sunday if you can come out. This is Ugo and I's last live stream. Thank you so much for joining us. We love you all. As a part-time, non-paid job, <laughs> I have enjoyed being with you. I don't know who I'm with, but I've enjoyed being with you. Next, mostly with Ugo. The next time you might hear